Hey guys, going YouTube. My name is Ryan the Gamer, and I'm here for a first impressions live commentary for the team of the season, uh, Delafo. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's probably how I will say it. Um, I paid 252k for him, and his card stats: he's got 93 pace, 88 dribbling, 75 shooting, 61 passing, and uh, he's he has four star skills, four star weak foot, and uh, yeah, play him in a, in a bit of a hybrid. Not really, mostly Spanish team. But uh, a couple of Bundesliga players in here as well, and uh, I've uh, I've used him a little bit so far. Uh, it did say zero games, zero goals, but I played four or five games uh, against a friend and got to test him out a little bit. And hopefully, I will be able to use him even more here in the in the upcoming game. But I'm not going to play one bar. Uh, it is a little bit late. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this at this hour. But oh well. Hopefully. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. If I match up against somebody with a 3-bar, I will play. And some of the players I have in this team, we've got the inform Jesse Rodriguez, or Jesse Rodriguez. Um, you know, if you want to throw a little bit of that Espanol in there. But uh found a 2-bar, I might as well just play, because I don't want to be here forever. And uh, based on the badge and kit, this guy might not have a good team. Uh, he has an average team. It's a, uh, you know, 4-star in the rating and uh, 78 chemistry he's got some pace he's got a lot of pace Biabiani, Chicharito, Obafemi Martins um, his defense his back three are not very fast and you know just uh, just how this team is made with the chemistry and just the the random players I don't see this guy being very good but um, you know you never know what's going to happen especially with uh, how dominant pace is in this game but uh, yeah I'm going to be checking out uh, Delafoe's in-game stats at halftime, and I'm just gonna tell you what I what I think about him and what I noticed in the first couple of games. Uh, I I sold on my team of the season Hamshik, and I thought um, about trying somebody a little bit different that's uh, not Syria this week. And um, right off the bat, oh god, this guy's gonna rage quit. I know it. Oh, I didn't even score. Okay, never mind. Uh, there you go. Right off the bat, Delafoe uh, missing a one v one with the keeper. But, um, yeah, uh, a concern of mine, now that I see how easily I just broke through this guy's defense, is that he could very well rage quit on me, which, um, you know, that's never good. But um, Delafo again, that one, found its way into the back of the net. Fourth minute goal, Delafo finesse shot. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, probably the main thing that I noticed about him, other than pace. He, has, he is just so ridiculously fast. But at Delafo... He, he is unbelievably good inside the 18, but then anywhere outside of that, he uh, he kind of fails. So, um, you know, it's nice that he has that pace because he can make his way inside the 18 very quickly. Um, you know, but if you want to hit a long shot with him, there's a very good chance that that's not even going to uh, test the goalkeeper. Um, he only has 62 shot power, but he has like 90... 6 free kick accuracy and 99 curve or something unbelievable so you know it's just um, it's a strange combination with such low power but then such good curve and free kick accuracy that it, it makes his his uh, finesse shots very good which is why I, I uh, went for that finesse shot there that ended up going in but uh, yeah that's uh, that's really what I like to do with him inside the 18 make your way in there and then hit a finesse shot um, skill moves, of course, four-star skills, four-star weak foot. It, uh, you know, it is a little bit unfortunate that this team of the season card of his is on the right side because his upgrade and his regular card are both on the left, and he is right-footed, which uh, you know it, it's a little bit more natural if you're trying to score with him because uh, you know right-footed on the left side and vice versa. Are, um, you know that's what you want to go for if you're trying to cut inside and score goals. But he does have that four-star weak foot, and um, he does have the agility to work the ball around inside the box and then either put it on his left and score or um, try to put it back on a stronger foot. But, you know, even his left foot with four-star weak foot feels pretty good. Uh, it, his shot power doesn't make um, it doesn't make his, uh, his shots go, like, insanely high over the bar, which is nice. Um, you know, just walk inside and finesse shot. I might as well just do that all game uh, if this guy allows me to. So, um... Yeah, that's that's what my my game plan is with him. Uh, just go all out. Just um, you know, I don't really like the pace abuse, but this guy is so ridiculously fast. I mean, you do um, 
you know, a big touch or a, a super big touch like this. Oh, wait, I didn't even do it. There we go. Like that, he's just going to beat everybody, even if he has, like, a defender. Um, wow, look at that curve. That is just crazy. Um, if you, if you, um, you know, do that big touch, he is just going to burn by absolutely everybody. I mean, there are only a couple of left backs in the game that will be able to uh, keep up with him, and that'd be like Gail Clichy, and I don't know, maybe there's some like silver players that are. Um, oh my God, he scored another. There's um, you know only a handful of of left backs that will be able to to catch up to, catch up to him. And I doubt anybody would be able to catch up to him, but you know keep up with him uh, if they have the pace and the strength to uh, you know shoulder to shoulder uh, make him really slow. But um, yeah, it's it's four zero. And this guy, like I expected, is not very good. Um, I don't know if this guy's going to stay, <laughs> which is that's my that's my main concern. It is unfortunate that I'm not playing somebody better, uh, just so I I could, you know, show off how Delafo plays against a, a more I don't know competitive opponent rather than somebody who's just going to be sliding in all over the place. And um, yeah, this guy really doesn't have a game plan on defense. He just slides around, dives in. Uh, I don't know if he's hoping to get lucky with one of these tackles or if um, he's actually trying to plan them out. And if he is, then that's kind of embarrassing on his part. But um, I don't really know what else to do in this game other than just keep trying to score some different types of goals with him. I mean, that finesse shot is probably the best I've used in the game. I mean, there's there are so few players that can score good finesse shots, and I think... He has to be number one or number two, in my opinion. Uh, I haven't played with, of course, the likes of like Team of the Year Ronaldo or uh, Messi or any of those types of really high, uh, highly rated players, expensive players. But um, I think he and the Team of the Season Marco Royce, not Team of the Season, but uh, Man of the Match Marco Royce have the best finesse shots in the game. Or actually, I don't know, now that I think about it a little bit deeper, um, second in form Suarez has some amazing finesse shots so the top that's the top three in my book but um i'll talk about that more in a little bit delafo 62 96 99 with 98 penalties so uh you know that's what i'm that's what i'm saying with uh these free kick stats they're a little strange but if you can oh off the bar but if uh i mean you can try some really creative things with those free kicks uh you know just hardly putting any power on them and then just making the ball swerve just ridiculously like unrealistically almost that's how much curve this guy can put on the ball and that that's really helpful for finesse shots it makes him like fifa 12 all over again which is really nice um yeah I, I, they definitely need to need to work on those in fifa 14 make them a, a little bit more balanced but i mean just this guy his dribbling his agility is that a pk no his uh his dribbling agility and how how quick he is his, his um, acceleration just all of that combined makes him uh, the the 18 yard box is his stomping ground. I mean, you just if you make him if you put him inside the 18, good things are going to happen basically. Um, especially if you know how to dribble the ball, if you you know how to do like um, the precision precision dribbling, skill moves, stuff like that. Uh, this is the player for you basically. Uh, you know he has the pace to get to the 18, if, uh, say you go on a counterattack and then he gets the ball uh, at the half, I mean, you could really just outpace absolutely everybody and then go score for that shot. That's a really nice, uh, little bit of a, I don't know, a scissor kick with uh, Fernando Torres there. But this guy, I mean, really just no competition. This guy has no chance whatsoever, uh, even if he does just try to pace. I mean, he does. he's not even getting possession that much. But I really wish I could just show you a little bit more like look how easily oh well that's actually not a very good example he's um Adelifo just burns by Raul Albiol with no fitness so that's a that's a really bad example but I mean just that pace is absolutely crazy I'm gonna show you guys these in-game stats which are uh they're kind of off and on I mean he's still a silver player but um you know I'll just I'll just show you so I'll take you down to Delafo. 82 ball control, 99 curve, uh, 91 dribbling, 82 finishing, 96 free kick accuracy, 72 long shots, 98 penalties, uh, 76 volleys, high medium work rates, 
93 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, 98 agility. I've actually seen some video of that agility being 99 on um, somebody else showed his in-game stats and it was 99, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But 74 balance, 78 jumping even, uh, 86 reactions, um, and those stats are not very good. But you can tell that this guy has some amazing pace with 90, was it 93 and 94 with um, acceleration and pace, I think. I mean, just... I mean, he feels faster than Walcott, and I don't even... Uh, I, I've only used Walcott like once. Or have I used Walcott? That's actually a good question. I don't like the pace, so maybe I haven't tried Walcott, and um, I'm just making stuff up. But he he does feel like one of the fastest players in, in the game, and that is undoubtedly a PK. I mean, you can't just slide me in the box like that. Come on, kid. So you're going to send him off? Yeah, you're definitely going to send him off. So he's going to have two defenders who are both slow and tired. So, um, I mean, we can definitely add insert to in, insult to injury and make this game something like 11-0 by the end. So, uh, you know, 98 PKs, that's going to go into. Um, I really like that he's not very short. I don't think he's very short, um, which is nice because just being a little bit bigger can, oh wow, I just completely decked Martins. But, um, you know, if your player's a little bit taller, they're inclined to have more strength. But, uh, you know, that's just um, that's just the way it is. And uh, with Delafo, he, he is pretty weak, though. That's the only unfortunate thing. I think his, his size does make up for it just a tad. But, like, if he were, like, 5'7", 5'0", whatever, um, you know, that, that small, like, messy height, he would get muscled off the ball way too often for me, and I think that would be a problem. But with how... With, how, uh, with his size and his balance and agility, I mean, he... He can keep the ball well. Um, that's that's no question. But if you've got a big player, a big defensive player on him, then um, that could be a problem for him. So, I mean, that's just something to keep in mind. But uh, if you if you have the ball with him in space, oh wow, now he's just going for pace. But um, if you have the ball with Delafo in space, uh, I mean, just a big touch, uh, a super big touch. Which you, if you don't know, it's just you you double tap the uh, the direction you want to run with it in. And let's see if I can test it out here. Just, oh, that was poorly executed. I kind of took that straight at um, his defender. But look at this pace. See, he just burns by absolutely everybody. And, um, yeah, just just too too quick. And, uh, like I said, I can't, I can't imagine uh, too many defenders being able to keep up with him. Uh, you might get lucky a couple of times if, say the guy you're playing has like Thiago Silva um, or Sergio Ramos then that might be one of the only those those types of players are going to be the only types of center backs that will be able to keep up and uh, be a match for for Delafoe's pace but really you're not going to have too many problems with center backs unless you're playing uh, unless you're playing a guy who's playing a three back formation and I mean something like this the chip through ball is just so overpowered with a, a player like Delafoe I mean, you just send that through. Oh, he's injured. Oh, well. Uh, you, you just play that through over the top. And if, you know, like I said, if you've got, if they have somebody slower marking him, then you, you can just win the game automatically with something like that. It's uh, it's kind of stupid that pace runs this game as well as it does. I don't want to tramp it, but I will. Uh, just, uh, oh, I wanted to get Jesse Rodriguez on the, on the score sheet. That's what I wanted. But um, it's 8-0. Uh, at this point, I might as well start screwing around. But I mean, you do. I, this this video is supposed to be all about Delafo, and uh, oh come on, that's not a foul. But um, it's it's way. It's I may do like a part two to this uh, live commentary first impressions just because I want to play somebody better. But um, yeah, having having a I don't know if it is pronounced Hesse, but I mean, it's, it's um, you know, he's Spanish, and that's how you pronounce a J. So I'm going to call him that. Don't, don't uh, ask me where that's coming from. I'm sure half of you watching this or 90% of you watching this are British. So, uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a little authentic, pronounce it the way it might be. <laughs> I almost said the way it should be, but I don't know. So, um, yeah, Hesse Rodriguez in this team is actually really nice. Uh, I, I thought he was on uh, 
Real Madrid instead of the the B team. So uh, at first I wasn't gonna buy him, but then uh, I found out that uh, it wasn't his B team or their B team, his inform. And uh, these two together are they're very similar. Um, Jesse Rodriguez is definitely not as fast, but um, did I follow him? I guess I did, but um. He's he's not nearly as fast, but they both play similarly where if you get him inside the box They can absolutely destroy defenders and um, You know, it's it's kind of nice to have them both uh, playing that outside forward role and uh, You know either side can like if you if you're having trouble with um, With defenders on uh, Delafoe's side you can just try uh, doing some dribbling and whatnot with uh, Rodriguez and I think this guy is this guy dumb it's getting a little choppy this guy might leave or maybe not maybe that's just um the connection but say you've got uh maybe they do have like Gail Clichy uh, and it's giving uh, Delfo a little bit of a hard time then switch it over to Rodriguez but if, if to be honest if they have Clichy then they probably have Kyle Walker on the other side so maybe not um, uh, that's just the way people are in this game but uh, see, it, this is getting really laggy. I don't know what's going on. Wow, this is really bad. Um, but I mean, if you put something like this and just hold, um, you just hold one direction, you can really put just a strange amount of curve on on something. And it, uh, I mean, it's not very effective, but it can just be fun to try something like that out, and uh, you know, go for the improbable. I'm not liking this this lag though. I'm not sure what's going on here. Nobody in my house is using the internet. It's 1.15 in the morning. Uh, and there's no way that goal's going in. But I'm glad a player like this um, is losing to me. Anybody with that just goes for straight up pace is an asshole. So, I mean, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't talk. This team is so pacey that I'm using even... Um, I mean, Fernando Torres really shouldn't be that fast in this game or in any FIFA. So, uh, yeah, I mean, my, my front three is really fast, but... I, my midfield's not too fast, and uh, to be honest, I'm not just I'm not only going for pace like these pace abusers do, and uh, yeah, I like I like to do um, you know like I said I like to get inside the box I like to dribble the ball around. This guy's not even playing anymore, um, so maybe I shouldn't be. Like, what's the point? Yeah, this guy's done. So I think that's really all I wanted to say. I did get off uh, quite a bit of information about Delafo and I think I will do a full inform review on him so if you want to stick around for that uh, you're glad to uh, you're glad to uh, feel free that's what I'm trying to say feel free to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video goodbye